Hello, I am Stormwind Studios instructor and Cybex author William Hannock. I wanted to take a few moments to talk about a Windows 10 security breach that has just uh, been told to everybody more or less in the public. Uh, and this is a very recent security breach. As a matter of fact, uh, at the time that I am uh, recording this uh, video in uh, mid-January 2020, the breach actually was just discovered and reported on only two days ago. Uh, the NSA actually found uh, a security loophole that allows people to actually take over your system and the devices. And again, this was actually discovered by the NSA. Now, Microsoft has already announced that they are patching this security flaw and they released this, just like I said, as of Monday, they released this article talking about that the patch was going to go out on Tuesday, January 14th, and the security patch was going to actually patch up this flaw. So if you have been keeping up with the updates, you know, on Patch Tuesdays, and you are updating all of your Windows 10 devices, then most likely you have already covered this and you're not going to have to worry about it. But if you are not actually updating all of your systems, there is another way that you can actually get this patch taken care of. And that's what I want to show also. So what I've done is I actually close this window. I actually kept up a link and I'm going to post this link up and I'll copy it. And I'm going to paste it in to our system here. One second, I'm going to open this window up a little bit and I'm going to make this a little bit larger just so that this is the original article under here. So I'm going to make this a little bit uh, easier for you to see. So let me get to the font here and let's make this, uh, let's see if 18, hopefully it won't make it so big that you won't be able to. Okay, so there you go. So you can actually go out to the Microsoft portal page and you can look at this advisory and download the appropriate security patch for whatever version of Windows 10 or Windows Server that you're running. So I'm going to take this link here that I just copied and I'm going to go ahead and open up a web page and I'm going to paste it and we're going to go to that web page and I'll show you what it looks like. So here is the actual spoofing vulnerability that the NSA has discovered and part of this also is that it allows them to actually take over components. So if you scroll down, you can see that they have all of the different versions of Windows 10 and it also has all of the different versions for Windows Server. Now there are different ways that you can find your Windows version number. Okay, one of them, you can actually just type in Winver, and I'll go ahead and put that in so you can see. And by running Winver, it will pop up a box, and it will tell you what version of Windows you're running. So we're, this system here is running version 1909. So that is one way that you can figure out what your Windows version is so that you know which security update you need to actually download. A second way that you can do this is you can click on the start button. And when you go into the start button, you can go to the system and then scroll all the way down to the about. And when you scroll all the way down to the about, you can also see that you're running Windows 10 Enterprise and the version number. So once you know the version number of whatever system you're running, 
Then at that point, if you need to, since we're running 1909 and I'm running an X64 based system, I would then click on this security update link and at that point I could download, save the link and then, and then execute the link. Now, if you want to do updates on Windows 10 and you haven't done a lot of updates with Windows 10, one thing that Microsoft changed is you can no longer do updates through the actual control panel. To do an update on Windows 10, what you need to do is you need to go into your settings and then you scroll down to where it says updates and security. And when you click on that, your updates will actually appear. All right, and at that point, this actually are, this is updates that we got from yesterday. And for the updates to finish, I need to do a restart. Once I do a restart, the actual security updates that will fix this system are already part of the Windows updates that I got. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll say restart, but uh, I'll do that after this video is over so you don't have to just watch the box restart. But I want to just one more time put this up. If you haven't already done normal updates and you need to actually get to the portal so that you can find the updates for this NSA security compliance issue, you know, where the NSA figured out that there was a security breach, then just go ahead and, and write down this link, get to it, download the appropriate Windows versions that you have, and get them pushed out to all your users. So, quickly, once again, just to make sure everyone understands, as of January 13, 2020, the NSA had actually contacted Microsoft and there is a Windows 10 security breach where they can get in, they can spoof your system, they can take over components, and they, including the camera, the microphone. So if you haven't already done so, don't be one of the people that aren't covered and then you end up having an issue. So make sure that you get your Windows 10 security updates done. And if you need to, make sure you go out and specifically update this particular security patch. I am Stormwind Studios instructor and Cybex author, William Panic. Thanks for taking a couple moments to watch this video, and I'll see you real soon in one of the classes. Thanks for watching.